as we promised you guys, we are now in Kulna after all the Shundarban visit and we want to show you that Kulna is not only the entry gate to the Shundarbans but also you can find here a lot of other places to explore and to visit. For example, now we're visiting the 60 Dome Mosque in Bagarhat <laughs> nearby Kulna which is around 40 kilometers from the Kulna city. We're gonna try to go inside, let's see if it's allowed or maybe Michael can go inside. Yes, yes. What is your name? Michael. Michael. Yes. My name is Hakim. Hakim, nice to meet you, man. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. We made Koi Shotaka for anyone in three. Okay, please. Thank you. There are so many people here visiting the Shaheed Masjid. Shaheed Gumbad. Shaheed Gumad Masjid. Gumbad. Gumbad. Now, is the dome. From her country, Hello, Romania. Nice Romania. to meet you. Yes. Yes. Shaykh Gumbad is a... Uh, Gumbad means mosque and a lot of people are here. Okay. Being the Friday nee, nee. Gumbad means I think dome because Shahid is 60 and the masjid is mosque. Oh yes, yes true. What is... Oh, it's true. The 60 Dome Mosque is a UNESCO World Heritage Site here near Baikuna in Bagarhat. It's called 60 Dome Mosque, but it actually has 77 traditional Bengali domes. So this is a very unique architecture. It has been like a very beautiful uh, preservation done on this site. A lot of people really appreciate how the archaeology team like managed to rebuild everything. This is really, really impressive. People can still go inside and pray, which is really beautiful, and uh, that's why I wanted to do the introduction outside because inside it's a prayer area. So Hello. Really nice. Why don't you come inside, Gigi? I will, I will. This is a 500 years old functioning mosque. It's unbelievable. Like the ground is made out of bricks, old beaten bricks. The arches are beautiful here. There's like the little place where the people pray towards, like the little Qibla, I think form is there like inside the wall and it's also like really really nicely preserved you have a lot of cool air in Bagarhat it's very hot during summer very hot and very humid and these domes like the air circulation is very very good for a mosque built over 500 years ago a UNESCO world heritage place here in Bangladesh uh, no, no, thank you. When we're traveling, a lot of people approach us with a lot of different matters. For example, now I was talking with someone like taking care of children. A lot of people wanted to take selfies. So I'm trying to make like a cohesive story for you guys. You can really see some of the old pillars here. I don't know how many pillars, but I think if there are like 77 domes, there are at least 77 pillars or maybe half. Maybe 40, around 40, because they're holding, I, I don't know. You do guys do the math, but really beautiful place here. A lot of detailed carving, a lot of symbols. It's very fine, it's very, uh, in, a very interesting Bengali architecture. Something I haven't seen in a very long time. 500 years old, UNESCO World Heritage, 60 Dome Mosque here in Bagarhat. Definitely worth a visit. Hope you guys are gonna check it out. It's really easy to reach it from Kulna as you guys saw we just took a bus and that's about it. Oh man, the area around this mosque is so nice. You have these kind of small shops selling coconuts and selling all sorts of stuff. And you have this nice big and beautiful lake. And opposite the lake you have the nice old 14th century mosque. Perfect. This complex has pretty much everything. There's a huge park, there's a huge lake, there are people, vendors selling you stuff, there are coconuts, there are everything. So it's perfect for a day trip from Kulna. Just come here, take the bus and enjoy the vibe around the mosque and around the lake. And it's a perfect Friday or Sunday or Saturday or weekend more or less getaway from the big city of Kulna. This is so nice, Kulna actually needs something like this because inside the city it's a bit crowded and uh, oh well, uh, besides Sondermans, most of the people tell me that there's nothing to do in Kulna but I guess this proves them wrong I mean, you can come here, explore the lake, explore the mosque take pictures with the locals and enjoy and have a nice day Guys, I have to take a moment now Hello. I met my best friend here 
What's up, girl? She's my best friend. You're cute. 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 He was inside a pond and he observed that his uh, horse started drinking the water inside the pond there. So um, they started to um, see this place as a holy place because a lot of people come here and bathe and drink from this pond thinking it's a holy place because the ruler back in the day, the Khan Jahan, the Sultan of Sundarban, he was uh, really much enjoying the place and uh, he thought it's miraculous. It's very interesting guys. I'm reading about the Kanjan, the person who, the Sultan who built the, the saint, also a Sultan, who built this mosque. He is a fact an Uzbek descendant. Beautiful, I didn't know that. Wow. Wow. Back in 14th century and he began building, building the the beautiful mosque here in Bagarhat, like out of all the places. So this is why Bagarhat, it's like it has like such a interesting story. Not only because of the person who built it, who is like of Uzbek origin, he's a famous Sufi saint, he's a uh, like a follower of Amir Timur. Um, he cleaned the Sundarman forest here, like the Sundarman forest was following all the way up here. He cleaned everything up just to build the mosque of 60 like actual 77 domes he basically built the the roots of uh, the modern community here in uh, Bagarhat it's really beautiful hello guys how are you assalamu alaikum hey friendly guys <laughs> okay. He wanted to attack me, Gigi. I gave him a piece of his own medicine. We met here a new Mahmoud, friend. Mahmoud Azmani. Azmani is my name. Mahmoud Azmani, and he has also a YouTube channel. You can check it out. He's gonna say a few words in Bengali. And maybe we can uh, understand something <laughs> in English too. Okay. Uh, this is Mahmoud Azmani, a new uh, American channel. We have moved with Azmani. I'm in Bangladesh culture, and song is pretty, and history is just fun. I'm happy. So I'm here today. Bagheera is here. I'm here to show you some more things. See, I'm here to show you. Look, YouTube channel is Dodo Explorers from Romania. Thank right? You. Yeah, yes. from Romania. So subscribe if you want to uh, watch them, and subscribe my channel if you. Uh, like it. Thank you so much. Thank you. So he loves you love history and uh, Architecture. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. This is what what he, I think you said <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For my little bit of an understanding. You understand also? also uh, olpo, olpo. Olpo, so this olpo. is really nice. Yeah olpo. Well, thank you so much for thank having so us much. around and good and luck with your channel guys. Check check it out. Yeah. <laughs> Bye <laughs> Gigi, did you know that this guy was an Uzbek? That's exactly what I said. That's so cool Gigi. I mean, we've been to Uzbekistan and I've seen what they built over there and imagine they came all the way here and started building this mosque. And he was, I think, part of the Amir Timur army or something? Yes, 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 he was part of the Amir Timur gang. That's so cool. That's so yeah. cool. That was way before Babur, way before the Mughals, way before everything else. That's so cool. And around here we have also a museum which shows us the mosque. And some other artifacts from that time, like some pots and some uh, terracotta tiles. Interesting, some coins, and of course, a crocodile. Okay, 
And there's also apparently another place around here, which is as uh, equally as interesting as this place. But we're gonna find that in a couple of minutes. This guy decided to quit his job, so it's a newer city. This cowboy is running from himself. She's oh, been sorry. living on the highest shelf. Dog lady running down to the reef tide, taking out to the dark side on a beer left hand man. So we're going now with Said. Yeah. Uh, to what our next destination here in Kalamata and uh, Bagger Hut. And uh, Said was just singing a song for us. I have memorized uh, 40 songs. In, in English okay. and uh, what, uh, what I really uh, listen to, I try to memorize it. Oh this my is goodness. my habit and uh, yeah absolutely. And also I'm really teaching my students because some is absolutely powerful and uh, to learn any kinds of language is absolutely helpful. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Oh, Whenever I get Hello. time. Hello. Good. Hi. Yeah, but, uh, so our rickshaw stopped here now because we need to speak with the people in the village who are friends with our driver. Yeah. Where are you from? From Romania. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Don't know about. Okay. Interesting local habits. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Very nice. Just so friendly. Yeah. Very friendly. Yeah. Everyone is very friendly. Like so, so friendly. <laughs> Oof. And just like that, ten minutes away from the masjid. You have this nice beautiful tower. It's called the Kotlamath and is equally as old as the mosque. We're here at Kotlamath and uh, I'm gonna tell you some things about it. So let's go. Kotlamath is a very elegant building which is located in a little village uh, nearby the 60 dome mosque we just saw. The little village is called Ajodhya in the Bagarhat district and it's like 10 kilometers away from the from the town itself. This building is almost 20 meters high from the surrounding ground and it has pretty thick walls like around three meter thick walls. The main attractive feature of this mat of the Kodla mat is the fact that it is very very decorated in uh, brick ornamentation you so you're gonna see a lot of details intricate details spread on all of the levels of the mud that means that a lot of effort has been put into it just imagine the amount of work that went into building this in the early 17th century there is like a small bengali inscription on a brick that says that this mat was uh, built by a brahmana and it was dedicated to taraka brahma in the early 17th century and this was a building built by the Raja, so the ruler of the Jessore area. So a little bit north of Kulna, of where we are right now, there was the ruler of that area that built this beautiful, beautiful detailed building for one of his uh, helpers in the court as a sign of appreciation. So I think this is really amazing and you shouldn't miss it. Like if you're gonna visit Kulna, if you're gonna make your old way through here, this is really so, so beautiful. And um, especially here now at sunset, it's gonna take your breath away. And just like that, through the miracle of time, we have arrived back in front of the mosque. So it's a bit of a crazy here situation because there's a lot of people and we're looking for a bus to go back to Kulna, but you should come to this place because it's a very important place and also it's on the back of your money so come here it's nice <laughs> and just like that with the magical bus we have a ride back in Bogura now in Kulna in Kulna and now we have to go and find something to eat and then maybe, I don't know, look around. What's the here, Gigi? Yeah, sure. Let's have some food. We have a tandoor. We have some naan. 
Hello. Nana, see? Fish must. Fish must. And the chicken? Chicken. Mutton? Beef mutton. Beef mutton. Must. For me. Okay. Shrimp for me. So let's see if this one from this tapa actually gets like rises to the expectation. Yes, I'm curious. I'm hungry. I'm ready to go deep into the mast. We had a breakfast this morning, we walked all day. And Oh. Mast. Wow, just look at that. Mm. Mm. Morning, Moja. Warm. Ooh. Very good fish. The lady was right. This is some very good fish. That's the head of the fish there? I don't know what the part of the fish is, but the good part of the fish. Come on. Very good. Here of fish. Only in Kulna. Any kind of color of fish you want, we got it. Come here. What is the, the does it taste of? Fish and yellow stuff. It's like dal with fish and spicy. Dal and fish and spicy. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Kind of. What better? Okay, I'm gonna try my own shrimp here. Oh my god, guys, just look at this. It's huge. Like the, these are the biggest shrimps I've seen in a very, very long time. And they're juicy and they're very, very flavorful, delicious. Cheers, guys. Now we can enjoy our nice fishy fishy and shrimpy shrimpy and nani nani and we shall be back before you know it. 1100. What a pretty pricey fish. Thank you, have a nice day. So, uh, for the six shrimps and two pieces of fish, uh, six pieces of prata, of naan, sorry. 1,100 uh, taka. Okay. It has been a long day and we're back at City Inn. And uh, now we're gonna have a little bit of a tour to see like what available rooms are there here in Kuna at the City Inn Hotel. Now we're gonna see this. Super deluxe train, ma'am. Super deluxe train. Train. Yes. That's awesome. Yo, oh my goodness. This is like a VVIP room. Yes. <laughs> this looks so good. It's humongous. It's massive. Like you can just imagine like sitting here, having a great, great time, drinking some cha, watching some TV here at the TV place. Like the size of the room is really, really impressive. It's really something spectacular. This looks really nice. And uh, AC, of course. You have uh, like a clock, a big mirror to check yourself in every morning and the washroom. We, and I love to check out well, to washrooms because I know they're super, super important. This beautiful double deluxe room, it's uh, 4,830 taka. I'm going to give you here the conversion. Really nice, but you stayed in this one. Let's go check the other ones and the lights are in no way this is so pretty guys <laughs> this is like a whole apartment it's like a condo so beautiful i think this is the most luxurious room i've seen in a while 
really really nice just look at all this space here like the meeting room and uh you have like a shelf here with a lot of like flower pots and stuff and a connecting room that actually takes you into the bedroom and this is a massive i think cake size bed it's really really impressive very nicely decorated i like it how much is the price for a room like this uh, 12,075 12,075 yeah 12,075 yo crazy and this is the big washroom guys so really impressive place very tasteful very simple classic design i like it and for the price like around maybe 100 dollars per night that's that's not bad that's really really cool i could imagine sitting here just all day on the couch and uh like watching tv <laughs> watching our videos or <laughs> of course all these uh, beautiful rooms come also like with an included breakfast yes um they come with full access like for i think 300 uh taco per person and uh, with the gym near our room we have what this is humongous this is a huge bed guys it's a huge room really really impressive and i think the best part yeah let's make it happen <laughs> i think the best part uh -huh, it's actually the view from here of the city which I think it's gonna be really really interesting during uh, daytime too because you have all the sun rays coming through the windows so but even night it does it, it does a little bit of justice 4227 that's really I, I love like how all the prices have like a 7 or a 1 uh, at the end because it's included a uh, bed and services VAT and uh, services okay service charge interesting so yeah there you have it guys beautiful beautiful rooms here i think it's the most luxurious hotel here in kulna right yes ma'am yes definitely a lot of businessmen come here the gateway to sundarban so if you guys decide to come here and you want to spend either like 4200 4800 or 12000 for a place to stay and uh, roam around Kulna and take rest from all the exploration you've done through the day you can come here at City in pretty pretty nice place I like it and guys just to top up um, the whole list for tonight I'm gonna show you that I found a very very special place here and this one that's really really cool and the lovely stuff here the event manager and uh, the lovely stuff from uh, City Inn Hotel they're gonna make sure you're gonna have an amazing time. In case you guys are thinking to get married, you have the option to come here as well. So let me feel like a princess today and end the day from the bride and groom's place. Thank you guys so much for watching. Wish you best of luck. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.